So let me show you what I've done. On three places of the CNC, I've routed conductors and bolted them to the aluminum extrusion. These conductors are then routed back to my control panel, and they are all terminated on a single point, and that point is then bonded to the house ground. Well, once again, we get the content creator making this process sound ultra easy. All you have to do as an end user is attach a ground lead to your CNC chassis, take that other end of the ground lead, go to your electrical enclosure's ground bus, and then just take the electrical enclosure and ground it to your wall outlet or your breaker box. And according to him, essentially you're grounded. Unfortunately, that's not the truth. The fact of the matter is we need to cover the variables and there's a major variable he overlooked and that's the leads being used to ground the chassis. Let me explain. A larger CNC chassis has much more conductive mass. Why? Because it's larger. A smaller CNC chassis has much less conductive mass, once again, because of the opposite. It's smaller. So what we need to consider is, is a larger gauge lead, meaning a thicker conductor, is best used on a larger chassis, where a smaller gauge lead is, once again, best used on a smaller chassis. Once again, smaller we use a smaller gauge lead, a larger chassis. We use a larger gauge lead. The biggest question that comes up when I discuss this with clients is, Vince, what do you recommend in best practice as far as using what gauge lead? This is a great question. The, in best practice, it's always going to be using a dedicated ground strap, and that's not a regular lead. Now, what is ground strap? I'm going to put it up on the screen here. All right, guys, in this portion of the video, I want to cover what ground strap is. And this is actual ground strap. And once again, this is half inch wide ground strap, which is the most commonly used for most of my clients for their systems. Now, whether you have a tabletop chassis or a larger chassis, these straps are unique. And let me explain why they're unique. We have a piece of 16 gauge wire here. You can see the internal copper conductors. If we look at this ground strap, this is full conductive mass, meaning that there is no insulator on here where this has a PVC casing. There is no PVC casing. So if you need even more conductive mass, you can double or triple this to make contact with itself. And that will give you even more conductive mass. 